this is the Dell XPS 15. It's a high-end top-of-the-line laptop that I got to replace my old desktop PC. As computer goes, I think it's beautiful, powerful, and easy to carry or move around. Um, it has so many great features like the stunning ultra-high definition 4K touchscreen. I work as a graphic designer, so this is really a huge benefit for me. It's bright and sharp with true vivid colors, and the speakers sound fantastic too, which I really enjoy while I'm listening to music while working. Um, the Gorilla Glass goes all the way out to the edge, and the base is metal and carbon fiber, so it's real sturdy and cool pretty much in every way. It has a backlit typing panel, which I like to use when it's dark and the top of the keyboard area is covered with silicone. It's all really comfortable and easy for me to use. It's also really very thin, which I really like, but the case was actually too thin for an Ethernet plug, so I got a USB to Ethernet adapter for it. The battery life is limited to about five to six hours per charge, but that's actually a non-issue for me since I work at home, so I always have it plugged in anyway, so that's no problem. The laptop comes with Windows 8.1, and as a graphic designer, I really actually like the look of it, but when I use it, I miss the start button. I missed having that available to me, and I also had some trouble figuring out how to get back to where I was before. But since the Dell XPS 15 is optimized for Windows 10, and Windows 10 is a free upgrade, it was an easy choice for me, and it actually was really easy to upgrade too. So let me show you how I downloaded and installed Windows 10. When I first ran Windows 8, it asked if I wanted to upgrade to Windows 10. I said yes, and that was that. So then it downloaded Windows 10 soon after via Windows Update, and then walked me through the installation. The only questions I really needed to consider was whether I wanted to keep my personal files and apps on the PC, but that was not actually an issue because it's new. And the second one was whether I wanted to grant permission so I could access the free apps from the Windows Online App Store, which I do. So I just clicked yes, yes, and that was it. Um, since I'm coming from Windows 7, I'm actually really comfortable with the Windows 10. It has a familiar look and feel with some extra functions added in. It starts up really quick and offers improved security, so I don't even need a separate antivirus application. It also works with the existing software and hardware I already have running. I'm glad I was able to get Windows 10 while it was being offered for free, plus apparently they're going to be continually up updating and improving it from now on, so that'll be really nice too. Um, one thing I noticed about Windows 10 is that they have an expanded start menu. It's kind of like I've seen on lots of websites where a list of items is helpful, but an expanded menu can help you find things even more quickly. So the new start menu works a lot like that. I liked how the alt tab keys are back and improved. I use that a lot to switch between open windows that I'm working in. The settings areas can be accessed a lot like Windows 7 and XP or a lot like Windows 8. So there are different ways to do the same thing. So you're not constrained at all in Windows 10. You can just work and play however you're most comfortable with. In addition to the new Edge browser, there's a new voice-activated personal assistant named Cortana that helps me search for things on my computer or online. She also helps me to set reminders, things like that. It's pretty easy and actually really convenient too. There's some great built-in apps that come with Windows 10 and I've also added several new ones from the Windows App Store too. So now that I have Windows 10 up and running, I'm really enjoying the Dell XPS 15 Touch. It's working just fantastic for me and for my business too.